What's up, guys? BTMReview.com here with another Retro Rampage podcast. I'm Aaron, and we got Zach here with us. What's up, dude? Nothing much, man. Uh, you know, I, I was just telling Zach here before we started, I this is episode 33, but it's getting to the point where... We, 34. We, 34. See, there we go. Fuck me. <laughs> it's getting to the point where we have to sit there and talk about it for five minutes. Like, which episode is it? So, <laughs> I mean, I think I'm probably just going to start doing the whose line is it anyway approach. You know, the points don't fucking matter and throwing out, you know, episode 95. Welcome to episode 5000. Yeah, I mean, it's almost to that point. But yes, legit. It is episode 34. Probably just going to do away with saying the numbers once we get to 50. Because it's, yeah. it's just kind of a headache. I mean, like you guys even care, right? I mean, you can see there's more episodes in the sidebar if you're on the old YouTubes or whatever. And if you're on our iTunes, then clearly all of our fucking episodes are right there in front of your face. So uh, <laughs> who am I to uh, assume that you're stupid and you're not? You're very smart because you're listening to our podcast. And top of the hour, <laughs> we are going to talk about... Ew, Shutter, Icky, Wiki, Xbox. It turns out that Xbox uh, has announced that... Um, Soon, I don't know when, but in the foreseeable future, um, you will be able to play PC games on the Xbox One. What is yeah, the story? Working on it. What is the story here, Zach? Well, uh, for well, the, first of all, they were talking about you know the blood stained. Mm -hmm. They did like a game. I don't want to hear about your mom's panties, Zach. Tell us about Xbox. <laughs> Oh no! They did a games con. I guess uh, you know the guy that you know created uh, you know Castlevania Symphony. We've night, talked came about out. it quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he basically talked about how uh, it's gonna, you know, Bloodstain for the Xbox One is gonna be, uh, you know, cross platform, so you're gonna be able to play it on Windows 10 and all that stuff. And you know, another uh, he actually he actually uh, talked about a new character, which he looks pretty cool, looks very Castlevania. Brand but, uh, new. He's not part of the Belmonts or. Um, I, I can't. Yeah, I don't know. It just shows a picture of him right now. Mm -hmm. He, he kind of looks like that, but I don't know if they can if he can even call him that at this point since it's not Konami. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it was released earlier that they kind of talked about you know that you could stream games on here, and they recently started talking about how they want to eventually, hopefully, get to the point where you can stream con or uh, PC games on your console. Now, how's that going to work? Because like a PC, you know, you have PC versus uh, console. Uh, warriors there and PC people are going to stand by PC to the day they die because you can upgrade your, your graphics card and your sound cards yeah. and, you know you can get stuff looking better than what a console can handle so how why if I had to guess is, 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 it, is it only is it only going to benefit the people that have the console that maybe want to play an exclusive that's on PC but wouldn't otherwise yeah you know if I had to guess it, since it's streaming I'd guess like you know since all the hardware is actually on your PC and you're just streaming it from your PC to the console, I would, you know, assume that... How are you streaming it from your PC to your console? Just the same way you stream it from the console to the PC, I guess. What are you talking about? I like, don't... I mean, like, I actually you, don't have Windows 10 yet. I don't I even understand how this works. You, you turn on Xbox Live and you're playing, you know, you're playing on the, the network, the Xbox network. I mean, what are you talking about PC? Are we patched in somewhere? I'm so confused. Yeah, it's integrated with uh, Windows 10, I guess, and... Uh, so I guess like if you know you if your wife or whatever is watching TV and you can't use the TV and you want to play a game you can just play it on your PC I guess. Mm. And so, so like yeah I I'd, I'd assume like this is going to be you know a big deal for like people that want to play PC games mm. but you know it's like me I had a hard time playing with a keyboard and mouse a lot of times. Isn't it kind of like competing with yourself? Uh you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess in a way, I think it's a smart, uh, a smart thing because, uh, like, they really, they really never <laughs> embraced PC gaming before. Like, they seem to have done that. Mm -hmm. You know, th this last E3 and this, like, they even had a PC, uh, what's it called, conference. I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And uh, that's a that's a big, you know, margin of who uh, buy and play the game. So it, it, it makes sense to do. It that. all sounds like Skynet to me. It's all weird, all this integration, machines working together, one system, it's the Illuminati. Can't you all see that? Are y'all too fucked in the head? The all-seeing eye. Am I, am I the only one that knows the truth, man? Um, I don't know, I don't really give a shit. Uh, I think it's outside of the, the rare replay, man. 
that's that's the most praise I've given Microsoft yeah, in a long time. That ca- but but that, that came out today that came out too. Today and you actually own it. How is that? Just give me a brief. I actually haven't cracked it open yet. I'm. Uh, I told you I've been playing the new Batman, so I want to finish uh, that before I even. How how you liking the Batman? I'm actually really liking it. You write us a review on btmreview.com. Plug. Uh, yeah, I'd never written a review before, but I definitely could. I could definitely try. You definitely try. There is no try. There's only do. I actually thought about like getting one of those capture things, ah. and I could like record gameplay, and maybe make videos for the YouTube too. That'd be cool. I mean, like I said, it's kind of replay, but I mean, sorry, it's kind of like a, a let's play. But you know what? You could do a video review where you're kind of playing it and you kind of cut it together and you're giving a review. You know, so, yeah, definitely do something unique with it. It'd be kind of cool, actually. That'd be, that'd be a lot. I looked, lot I fun. looked at one, and it was pretty expensive. So I'll, I'll probably have to save up for it. What do they range from? Aren't they like those capture cards? Aren't they like a? Don't they range? Are they? Do they start at like a hundred? Yeah, I think the one I looked at was like two hundred or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things. If you utilize it, you're going to get your money's worth. But yeah. But anywho, uh, rare replay. Um, like I said, I would have been all about that, man. I'm so jealous you get to experience Banjo Kazooie for the first time. I wish I could yeah. experience Banjo Kazooie for the first time again. Be like a kid all over again. But anyway, another Xbox news. Um, ugh, it's an Xbox episode, I know. Um, they are making a sequel or a spiritual sequel to an old school point and click game. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, I, I've, I've, I've actually never played the game, but it's called Maniac Mansion. It was on the NES, and I uh, I think LucasArts, uh, the company, made the game. Mm-hmm. And this new, I guess it's, I don't know if it's a spiritual sequel. I don't know if it's the same developer or same people, but it's called Thimbleweed Park. Okay. And they showed that at the uh, Xbox uh, Game Con. I think that's going to be on every, on every. Oh, uh, every system cross-platform. Yeah, I'm thinking, I think so. And it says it's coming next year. It's kind of interesting. I mean, is LucasArts behind that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, because it seems like an odd franchise. It's not even a franchise. It seems like an odd game to kind of like stir up. Or is it, yeah, is it one of these cases where it's a, a crowdfunded thing where the creator's like, hey, I want to bring my baby back. Uh, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure. My my cousin was a big fan of uh, is, Maniac is there Mansion. Is there an existing crowdfund for it? Or um, I don't think it was. It, he, I think my cousin mentioned that it was, but I don't remember it. I don't remember seeing it. It's it's well overdone now, uh-huh. so it's pro- it's coming out like next year, I think. So it's probably already made and kind of being tested out and all that stuff. I, w- I wonder when they're gonna like. Speaking of point and click, I wonder when they're gonna like, you know, revive Mist <laughs> or like those games. Those games were <laughs> yeah. kind of cool back in the day. You know, the the photo realism. They use like the pictures and stuff like that to make the the graphics look realistic. I mean, it's kind of yeah. dated now, but it was kind of like one of the early tastes of open world kind yeah. of those game there was a bunch of point and click game like the you know the uh, clock tower series was a yeah, point, yeah, point yeah, yeah 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 exactly yeah i forgot yeah and also one of my favorites will the adventures of willie beamish i've never played that you know what it is uh-uh. it's on, it was on uh i mean it was on like pc but it was also on the Sega CD, and I used to play it on the Sega CD. And it was a point-and-click adventure, um, and basically, it's like a day in the life of this this middle school kid, and oh, yeah. his goal is to try and get to these. They call it Nintari, obviously a hybrid of Nintendo and Atari. He's trying to get to these Nintari championships, like this tournament, something kind of like Nintendo <laughs> World Champions ships, and. Um, it's just a fun thing, and as a kid, it was. It, really it was fun. like uh, the. It was like Wizard, the video game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like you start out and <laughs> you're in school and you're in detention. It's the last day of school before summertime, and then it's one of those things. Yeah, point and click. You can make the wrong decision and lose the game. Yeah. So you have to keep making the right decision, and it's really hard, man. Because there's one scene of the game where you just, I could never beat it. It was just impossible. It's just I'm I, I'm in, at the part of town where I need to be to like attend the. Uh, uh, convention or the contest or whatever and there's this dark alley and these gang members like all these mean kids they, they, I, think they were, I think they were adults and I, I swear to god I can't make the right decision everyone leaves me beat up and bruised in a fucking dumpster I'm dead or whatever yeah it's freaking it, it reminds me of the you know have you ever played the uh, shoot Larry what are you talking about yeah I was gonna say that earlier but uh, more recently like uh, heavy rain and stuff no, like that and I, I just I, I can't get into him like i watched my brother play la noir 
and um, oh yeah, it it just it doesn't do anything for me. I I, yeah. like, I don't think I'd like Willie Beamish if I played it today for the first time. It's just nostalgic. Back in the day, I probably would have loved like Heavy Rain and stuff like that. Yeah, I definitely. Is recommend that a song Heavy about Rain. fucking periods? <laughs> Heavy flow, but like, one, like I remember, like heavy rain. Like one thing I loved about it was they, they did this thing that was kind of like an earlier PlayStation Three mm-hmm. game, and I remember thinking, like, man, if they start doing this, this would be great. But they did this thing where uh, at any time in the game, any of these main characters could die off, and you don't restart. You, the game just keeps going without them. Yeah, well, that makes for a unique playing experience. I yeah. guess each time you play through. Um. Now, the only other little tidbit as far as new games coming out, and it's kind of, we've been all over the map in this episode, and that's fine. We've talked about, you know, briefly touched on Batmans, Rare Replays, uh, yeah. Maniac Mansions. The, the last the last thing, um, you've informed me that Zombie U is going to get ported. Yep. My biggest question, now, Zombie U has a bit of a cult following. I, I know yeah. a lot of people that really, I've never played it, and I'm a bona fide Wii U lover, and I have a Wii U. Um... Is it going to be called Zombie U on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox? Or are they just going to drop the yeah. U and call it Zombie? Yeah, I don't know. I, I just saw that it was getting a port. I that's no, that's very interesting. No and that actually makes me want to really play the game now. Because if it's, yeah. if it's it was one of the launch games for the Wii U. And, you know, if, if it's obvious, it must be pretty good if it's getting the full treatment of uh, crossing yeah. over. So and You know, what's funny is like I remember when it came out, people weren't liking it so it, it definitely has got a cult following mm-hmm. i don't like know the big main the big mainstream reviewers i think were just kind of crapping on it the whole time i was thinking uh, it, may, it got it got me to think about the wii u um today and you know the plus side for it having a relatively short lifespan and um a relatively small library is that collectors are going to have an easy time collecting for it you're going to yeah. be able to you're going to for you completionists out there and uh, complete us out there it's it's going to be easy. And it kind of makes me want to like, <laughs> you know, start nabbing up all these cheap ass Wii U games like before. Because think about it, five, ten years down the road, it's going to have this legacy era where all the games are going to be fucking expensive. Zombie U, I thought about yeah. that. Like Zombie U is going to be, you know, a $100 game, all the stupid yeah. shit and stuff. So maybe I should get some of that stuff right now while it's 1999 or $15. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm still looking forward to the games coming out on the Wii U too, Which, Mario Maker and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, that's that's awesome. And everybody check out our Mario Maker racist episode. That one's got legs. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I could go into Nintendo all day long. See how I took a negative situation and made it positive? I was forced to talk about Xbox and I somehow transitioned into talking about Nintendo. Because <laughs> fuck Microsoft. But anyway, that's all we got here. I'm just kind of playing around there. If you guys like Microsoft, it's all good. But let us know what you think about all these things, especially the... Uh, PC, Windows 10, Xbox One integration, Skynet, freaking paranoia thing going on here. It's pretty nuts, man. Does it does it serve a purpose? I mean, are PC gamers still just going to play PC and are the console people still going to play? Con- I don't really know what's to benefit there, but you know what? They're, they're in the business and I'm not. So, I mean, they know all the numbers behind it. But let us know, btmreview.com, the Facebook Twitter at BTM Presents. Follow us on iTunes and YouTube and Tumblr and leave us feedback. We love feedback uh, with everything. So leave us feedback. We'll address it. We will listen. Maybe, maybe not. You never know. But we will definitely address it. And, you know, it only helps us get better. But until next time, this has been episode 500 million, 9,000 something stupid. But anyway, I'm Aaron and this is Zach. And we are outskis. Later, everybody.